Hi all. In this video, let's discuss some of the important and interesting points regarding React props. So React props are nothing but React properties, which is a special keyword of React JS, and it uh, it has only we can only read the props. We can't modify them directly, and uh, it it has a one directional data uh, flow. So let's discuss uh, all these points one by one. So if you are not familiar with the React properties, so React properties are just like if you are aware of function and its arguments, then uh, properties React properties are similar to that. For example, this is a function. Okay, we will call this function with some name and we'll pass some argument to that. So now, when we pass an argument based upon this argument, you will be returning back the string. Okay, so you can pass different arguments to the same function. and these arguments are uh, this is all about the function and arguments if you understand this this is similarly what the react props is looks like so we have a function a function which returns a jxx is known as a component in react js so now it is returning not it not it is not returning a text or string it is returning a component jxx so that's that's where this is called as a component now it is taking arguments but in terms of props so now to use this we have called this function in this way so to use this function component we need to use in this way so we need to capitalize the component in an html tag and we are passing the attribute name attribute so now in this props we will be having the name attribute hello world in this way we can use multiple times the same component by passing the different different properties in this way so this is how we can uh, we can use the props so this is a brief introduction about the properties so now let's look into some of the interesting points as we discussed so let's go here yeah the first point is props passed with just a name will have a true value what does it mean so okay so now i have a my component is a component and the main component is app component in this app component we are using my component so we are uh, catching the properties okay so now the first point is props passed with just a name so just i'm passing with a name so with if you do like this its value is true so if you want to show so you can give like this false sorry so show now so this is a property name and its value so if you give you usually we give like this a name and its value so now it is a false value and you can give it true value like this also but what if if you not give any of the value like this so then this name it will have the true value so let's check that so if props dot show now then we'll return some component like just say h2 element this is boolean so whatever prop or whatever the name or property you are sending without any value then it is considered as a true value so now if it is not true then we can we'll just return the null component so let's check that in the browser so now you can see this is a boolean value so you are not pass, passing any of its value just you are passing a name name of the property so we need to remember that if you are just passing a name then it will have the value of true so this is the first point we have uh, we should discuss so now let's go to the second point second point is about props so let's discuss the second point is about props can be accessed as an object or destructured so let's uh, see that so if you have n number of properties so if there are properties or more properties then it's good to send all the properties as an object but what if if you have only few properties like title i have a title so also i have another property like subtitle so if you have only few properties like title subtitle like this then it's good to destruct the object instead passing as a properties and using them so you have sent like this title subtitle show now like that if you want to use that how you are going to use that so we need to wrap that in a div component right we need to 
return back a component and this will be wrapping the component so let me do that so i will wrap this component in a fragment let me frag do the fragmentation so now in here what we need to do is in order to use that so we need to again do props dot title and again we need to do props dot subtitle so like like this we we should use if you are sending the properties like this okay but what if uh, this is accepted when the props object is a huge object but if we have only few properties then it's good to use the, them directly like this so now i can keep this this is what the destructure mean so i can use like this show nav comma title comma subtitle so if you use like this you no need to again uh, do like this the props dot something props dot something directly you are passing the properties to these values so this is how you can use so this is all about the second point the props can be accessed as an object as we seen earlier and now the props can be accessed with the destructuring as well so this is how we have destructured so we are sending the properties and these are catching those properties and directly you can use those properties here so this is about the second point coming to the third point the props can spread in individually so what does this exactly mean so for example uh, let me take this so for example we have n number of uh, let me take an uh, data so you have an uh, variable with n number of uh, properties okay so let's say like this subtitle and descriptions so you have n number of properties like this in an object so what if if you want to send this object to the property as a property of this component so let's say well, let's take one more yeah so you have an object you want to send this object as a props so then what you're going to do you no need to do like this so we no need to do like data dot title so we no need to do this type of things and uh, and also data dot if you're uh, if you need subtitle you no need to send like this data dot subtitle so no need to do like this so we can send this all object directly we can spread them directly like uh, let me show you that so instead giving all this properties like this you can straight away give the properties like this like uh, you can do a spread operator and you can pass the data so this is how you can do so where you are passing title subtitle and description to my component so here you can catch all the three like this title subtitle comma description this is how you can directly catch them so this is about the third point regarding the props can spread individually so you no need to uh, tell data dot title data dot subtitle to send the properties to the component you can directly spread that object so that you can indiv uh, individually access those properties so this is about the third point coming to the fourth point props can be given a default value so let's say you have a property here so props are very flexible so you are not sending any value it will not throw any error it will just have the value as undefined so in these cases if you want to have any default value just this is same as uh, providing the default values for the functional uh, in e6 will be uh, providing the default values for the functional arguments so this is similar to that you just provide the default value so if whenever if the title has any default value and if you are not sending any value now it will not be undefined so it will be having this default value in it so in some of the cases uh, we instead of showing undefined or uh, uh, it's good to have this default value so this is about the fourth point uh, we can uh, have the properties we can give the default value for the properties now we have child components can be passed as a props so child components also are also can be passed as a properties so for example let's see an example you have an my component here so here in this component so uh, let me remove this so uh, i will close this here and whatever i give in between this so like uh, whatever i want to give in between whatever we give in between this it is considered as a child 
so children sorry it is called as a children this is the children element so this is now known as a children so props has a special property that is automatically provided which is known as a children property so now this is known as a children property of my component so how we are going to access this children component so let's see that so let me show you with this so if you have a title property like this so one title property so now how you are going to access this here you can access them like this here you can directly say as children so in now in this children you will be having all the elements or component which is defined in between my component so what is provided between my component starting and ending tag is a children so usually we used to pass this as props dot children but we can directly pass them like this in this format so this is about child components also can be passed as a properties can also pass them as a properties like this and now you can use this as a child properties directly you can use you can um, use a div and you can uh, mention the children so here it the children can be a simple element or a complex component as well so this is all about the fifth point child components can also be passed as a properties now the last point is update the props value with the state so now uh, let's discuss that so we have a we have a, a component title so this is a component title so now we can update the props but props cannot be modified directly we should not we can't props are only for read only we can't modify them directly but here we are modifying the prop with the help of the state so let's see that so you have a component my component in this my component what you are going to do is you are uh, you, here you can you can use uh, react dot use state oh, sorry so we need to import react js react to use the use state so let me import that first so i am i am directly importing use state from react package yep. now now i have used uh, use state imported use state so i will call use state and i will provide the title here so i am providing the title here directly i am providing the title so it means i am accessing the property here i am giving that to constant new title dot set new title so i'm providing a new a variable and its method to change so now what happened we have taken the title so someone is sending the title property so this title property only we can use it okay we can't modify it right let let me remove this default value for now so now title property was sent here to this my component now it will be having the title property here so i want to modify this props so with the help of this state we can do that so uh, let, let me think uh, i will write uh, one click event here so whenever you click this so i am doing a set so directly i am uh, using the set new title so directly i am modifying it so directly i am modifying the value here so title changed so whenever someone clicks this uh, title then the title will be changed so let me uh, do this so this is how we can modify the props update the props using the state so you you are passing the props here so you are using that prop here and assigning that to the state variable whereas you are accessing that state variable here so you can give the new new title here so that the title would be modified once you click here the title would be modified so this is how we can achieve we can update the props using the state so hope you understand the video uh, if you have any doubts regarding all these points you can comment out uh, thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos